Well, this week on Dateline Schools, we're talking about officiating because our local high school and middle school games couldn't be played if we didn't have officials. And to tell us more about it, my special guest is the assistant director from the Michigan High School Athletic Association, Brent Rice. And, and Brent, is there any special training that officials have to go through or, or should be part of to become um, uh, well adapted to the rules and everything that's involved with officiating? Well, when you register, if you're a new official, we'll require some certain uh, testing um, that will be done. We have manuals that officials will look at um, and uh, we'll be tested on that information. Things like uh, standards and ethics and practices and all of that for new officials. Uh, but most of the training that is done for mechanics and techniques are done through the local associations. They host trainings uh, regularly throughout the year and provide opportunities for officials to improve their skills and abilities. I know I've had the opportunity to sit in a lot of training too. You really have a pretty good network with a lot of the guys who work some of the college games and even a few of the pros. Yeah, absolutely. And that's one of the good things about officiating is it's such a small group of folks, uh, really. Uh, the, the community of officials is small that uh, when folks go to the collegiate and the professional ranks, they oftentimes remember where they came from and they love to give back. Do you uh, require officials to have uh, some kind of um, experience playing the games? No, uh, we don't require experience to play the game, uh, though there is obviously a, a knowledge of the game is often helpful. But some of our emerging sports like lacrosse um, uh, and, and sports like that, where there, there was a whole generation that never played the sport, uh, we just encourage you to get involved, read the rules, get with some folks that know the sport um, and learn it and become official in those sports as well. And of course, too, we don't want the officials just to uh, be volunteering their time. They do get paid, right? They do. And, uh, and uh, the, the, so you get paid for, and it's pretty good. Uh, what I refer to as travel money. It's, it's good for the vacations in the summer. Uh, you know, you're not going to get rich off of it, but it certainly will, uh, certainly will help. So. We'll be back with more tomorrow for Dateline Schools. I'm Terry Hearns.